thanks for staying with us. So on this segment, we have with Executive Director, Association of Nigeria Electricity Distributors, and currently the official spokesman for all the electricity distribution companies in Nigeria, uh, Otumba Sunday Oduntom. He will be discussing more on the electricity matter um, with us. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you very much. On Thank Friday, you. we had the minister, Adelabo, in the studio yes. where he came, and he told us quite yes. a bit, you know, and one of the things I think I remember from that conversation is that when the discourse came, yeah, there was a lot of issues going on in the sense that they discovered that many of the discourse didn't have the technical abilities or the financial equity to even carry out what the expectations were. Mm -hmm. However, they're working with the discourse. Uh, and then right now, the issues they're having is that what is being generated is not being distributed. So there's a, the issue between generation, transmission, and distribution. So from your end, what is the update as regards distribution across the nation? What are you getting from the federal government and what are you distributing to um, the, the states across the nation? Thank you very much, Morayo. Um, number one, I think all of us need to understand that <clears throat> in the last two months, there has been very enough insufficient electricity in the country. In fact, the sector nearly collapsed. And that happened simply because of liquidity. All this issue of what do you get, what don't you get, we are not generating enough, we are not transmitting enough, we are not distributing enough. But we have made progress between 2000, I was there in January 2016 on this program, I was there in 2018, 2020, and 2021. And if you remember, most of the things I said on this program that time, you can go and play it back, most of it were confirmed by the Honorable Minister himself last Saturday. Uh, last Friday, I told you on this program, I said, privatization is a journey. Mm -hmm. It's a very long journey. And that journey is in phases. The initial part of the journey, there will be challenges. There's no way you have a baby without pain. And I also said that the issue of success of the power sector in any country, liquidity is number one. You have to be able to have the right investment and when you invest in anything, the issue of cost recovery is very paramount. No businessman will invest in any country or anywhere, in any sector, if he's not sure that he can recover his cost. And I think we must commend the regulator. They are doing a very difficult job, very difficult because they have to maintain the balance between the interest of the consumers and, of course, the interest of the businessmen who have to recover their cost. Mm. For the first time, we have a government that is taking a very bold decision. Most of our past ministers of power, like Mr. Fashola, they were very keen to achieve. They, they emphasized the need for appropriate pricing of the product. But the political leaders needed to take that bold decision. What has happened now? It's very simple. Band A. If you are in band A, we are saying, there's no point in subsidizing Morayo or a millionaire who lives in Ikeja or Asoko or anybody who can afford the cost, don't subsidize him or her. Take out the subsidy <laughs> and let them pay for it. They can afford it. How do you know our uh, pocket? That oh, I know your pocket. You can afford it. My name is Director. My name is Director. Chief Executive Officer. Oh, yes, Chief Executive Officer. You can afford it. That's a fact. Mm. So for those who can afford it, <laughs> let them pay for the I'm product. I'm seeing the truth in For those it. who cannot afford it, let the government continue to subsidize. <laughs> as now, government is still subsidizing as much as 67%. If you are not on Bande and you are watching us, Please don't join them in making the noise or complaining. You have no reason to complain. Mm -hmm. The government is still paying for you. I'm paying for you to also be elevated <laughs> from band B, C, D to band A. What it means is that I pray that you should have electricity in your homes. Nigeria cannot develop without electricity. We cannot have a country okay, have without electricity. Chief, I do this is very important. I am pay no band. Service. I don't have a band. Then that means you are using free electricity. Mm -hmm. Of course not. I pay. And I pay more than uh, most people. No, no, I don't, yeah, I don't know the band. You don't know it's different from you don't No, 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 hold on now. I don't have, today. I have light just a few hours a day. I, I, yes. I oh, suffer just the about thing. two hours or three hours a day. I suffer the same And my thing. bill, I don't want to mention it here. I am paying seriously. Mm. And I'm asking the question. Some people said it could be as a result of the new meters that actually run faster than the old meters. Because I wasn't paying as much when I was in Alabado than 
where I am now that I'm paying so much and I'm not in any band as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah. So please, is there anything like a new meter that makes it uh, uh, possible for you people to overcharge us and yet we're not in band A? Does the new no. meter run faster than... No, the new meter yeah. don't run faster than usual. Okay. Mm. Meter is an instrument of measurement mm. that is just there for revenue assurance. These calls are not the one manufacturing, supplying, or installing meters. Meters, okay. But even those who are doing it, this is a very heavily regulated industry. And I'm saying that we should give kudos to the regulators and to the federal government. Okay. What they are trying to do, what we should be talking about now is that every single household in Nigeria should be metered. Mm. Okay. And if you are metered, you can measure your consumption. And the issue of meter running fast is a no-no. What you need to do in your house, I, I had somebody, I read somewhere where somebody, some people are saying that the minister should apologize for telling people to switch up their air conditioner or their freezer. And he has apologized. Yes, we said that. I want to repeat the same thing. Switch off, and I will not apologize. <laughs> I'm not a politician. Switch off your deep freezer when it's fully frozen. Why? Because when you switch off on, on, on Friday mind? night mm -hmm. and you put it back on on Saturday morning, mm -hmm. it is still frozen. Nobody open it at 3 a.m. If I don't have light in the next three, four days. No, I'm talking about Bandeo. Uh, mm. I know they this band. Joe, let's not talk about Bandeo for. Okay, wait, let's, 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 let's not move you to Bandeo. Yeah. Yeah. Or move to where there's Bandeo. For Bandeo, <laughs> no, 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 don't stop saying that, Otuba. Otuba, stop saying that. There are people in Bandeo, there are people in Bandeo that are not receiving electricity. Okay, let me tell you. There are people in Bandeo that they're not getting the electricity. So how do they know they're in Bandeo? Please complain, complain, let us know. But let me tell you, when we say Bandeo have between 20 to 24, 24 hours. hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are not okay. saying that every day you have 20 hours non stop. Right. Okay. We are saying that calculate your energy, the energy received in your home mm -hmm. over a period of 30 days, mm -hmm. it will never, ever be less than 20 to 24 hours. Over 30 so days. It there, so it means know, some days you I'm might not have it. You, An example. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is just the fact. Okay. We are not there yet, though. Mm. If anybody tell you that the journey has been completed, <laughs> I will tell you that we're just on the second phase of the journey. What we have done now, or what the regulator and the federal government have done now, and I think the president has been bold enough to say, unplug those of us, including himself, at Ikoi, who are on band A. Let the government not subsidize it for, let us pay the true cost of electricity. That's the reason for the big jump. It was a big jump. That's why people notice, ah, it's fast, though. It has to be fast. If you are paying 66 naira and suddenly you have to pay 225 naira, then that's a jump. But one thing I want to quickly inform yeah. us, and that is very important, is that today in West Africa, even with the Bande, the Bande people today mm. are paying the lowest tariff in West Africa. Uh -huh. and I have the okay. facts. In fact, I asked the producer if you can, you can see it on the screen. Mm. If you look at this screen very well, we are paying the shipper. Look at Nigeria, 0 0.017 cent per kilo hour. Look at where we are. Togo and uh, Mali are paying the highest, 0 0.215. Look at Ghana. Senegal is 0 0.18. <clears throat> and Ghana is 0 0.125. Look at 125. Nigeria is 0. Point, it's 0 0.017. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are so low here because we have not been able to invest heavily to pay the right and appropriate tariff for so can you, let me pause you for a second, that thing yes. you just said. Because the, the minister to says on Friday, mm. they're trying to get liquidity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This money mm -hmm. that you are getting from Band A, what is it going to be used for? Mm -hmm. To pay for what Band A people are consuming. Only. That's Only. the answer. Who will not pay for but that? that, that, that the the minister so mentioned it that, that like there won't be, no, the minister mentioned that we, this is not covering the previous debts. This is just ensuring that we don't accumulate debt for this yeah, particular exactly. set of people. Shortfall that so we had in the past. Okay, let me let Amaka jump okay. in. Okay. Okay. From shortfall. Okay, so uh, we, we, we understand that you said that we are not there yet and that this is going to take different phases and we're just in phase two. Please, what are we supposed to expect? I mean, phase zero up to phase ten, how long? What's the projection? Let's know what to expect. Mm -hmm. If Nigeria stops stealing energy, and we are very, very good at stealing in Nigeria, hey. if, we are, if we stop stealing energy, we can end the journey by phase three or four. If we continue, it can be phase 10. So when we say phases, what we're saying is that as of today, mm. if you're on band A, you are no more being subsidized by anybody. Mm. You should even be proud of yourself. You pay your cost. And you will like get the service because you have a right to get the service. You go to Bini uh, Disco today, they have what they call rapid response team. Once you don't get the required number of hours, mm. it could be your local 
uh, transformer. It could be a simple local glitch or yeah. issue. They will respond because mm -hmm. you are paying for the service. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing in all other discos. So for the other bands, what we should do is to also try to invest more in the system so that they can also be upgraded to Band A. The whole country should be on Band A at some point. Band A to E. When I'm in Abel Kuta, I'm on Band D. I get very, very poor service. But in the same Abel Kuta, Ogute Capital. I know five <coughs> places where they get nothing less than 20 hours. I'm praying to God to be able to go and leave. leave. <laughs> but what, so what, so sorry, what will make somebody in Band E right now? Who wants 20, 20 hours? They also deserve 20, 20 hours. And they are willing to, to pay. pay. And they are willing to pay. How, what happens? Somebody who is on band what? Band E. e. Or band and wants 20 oh, hours of electricity. Hours. What should they do? Fantastic. I can advise. Mm. And I will use the Magodo example in Lagos State. Mm. Before all these new tariffs. People in Magodo, some good citizens, came together and said, Ikaja, we don't want to be using generator again. Mm. We are tired of the cost of diesel and petrol. Can you give us something more? We call it winning buyer, winning seller. Okay. And we made it happen. Mm. Magodo, they stop using their diesel and, and should there be any problem, they will even inform them in advance. So if any community who are now in band E, which is less than four hours, mm. if they want to go to 20 hours, get yourself together, we can electronically reinforce that community or that area as long as you are willing to and pay. ready to pay. Just because one mm. person is a rich man there does, does not, not guarantee mean. payment. Ah. The issue in the Nigerian power sector is the issue of payment. People think electricity is a social service. A politician will tell you it's a social service. I, as a businessman, will tell you that electricity is a product, like bread, mm. like any other product. Somebody had to spend money to produce it. Mm. That cost element had to be recovered. Mm -hmm. And in the case of electricity, I want our people to please. I know the country is hard. I know how people feel. It's an emotional topic. Mm. But please. Try to understand the fact that more than 80% of what we use in the Nigerian power sector are imported. That the issue of foreign exchange. As soon as now, now dollar is coming down, mm -hmm. now it's gaining strength. Mm. Now, Would the tariff reduce? If that is if that Sustain. is sustainable, as time goes on, tariff reduce. will come down. Mm. We're going but to be sustainable. This, this thing you said. Oh, let me repeat it. Yes, I said this here in 2016. Oh, yes. I was there, mm. and I said if the tariff goes up and people are paying, and there's a reduction in theft, and people report, see something, and say something. In, sometimes in the future, it goes up, it will start coming down. And I gave an example of other countries, Kenya, and other places where that happened. But if we continue in our usual Nigerian, go and steal, don't worry, nothing will happen. We won't get there. Mm. OK, talk about So um, I hear you, and it's always it's, it will make it look like, oh, there's nothing we can say when, we, when you come with this approach of it's a business, a business needs to make money, let's not bring in any sentiment. But I read in the papers today about Manufacturers Association of Nigeria complaining about the impact of energy on their business. YK as, would always come here and shout and say, I'm not seeing, I am, they group <coughs> me as Band A, that's YK in Ikeja, um, business they group them as band A, but they are still running generator. They're not seeing 20 exactly. hour supply. So people within that area, industrial, band A, not seeing 20 hour supply, what yes. should they do? How can they How do you respond to their issues right now? How do you respond to them? OK. With this new system, what we are trying to do now, all eyes are on the discos, mm. on the generation companies and transmission companies. And we're all working together. It's not about we and them again. Mm. The regulators are working, and they are so responsible. They try to do as much as possible to ensure that they deliver on their mandate. If we do not serve you correctly, one, your area will have to be downgraded back to the next level, maybe band B. And if we charge you unnecessarily, if you are asked to pay money for Band A, when you are getting the service of Band B, mm. you get a refund, but it went there, we will be penalized by a regulator. That happened to us less than two weeks ago. So it is not business as usual anymore. I can assure you that there is enforcement, and they will make sure that. And technology has made some things very easy. So if you tell me that you don't get Band A service, I can see it go into the system and check. I can tell you how much energy went to your house through your transformer and the feeder that served that transformer. Mm. It is very easy to know. 
Uh, like we said at the beginning, there are only 481 feeders that are affected in the whole country. The house is Abuja, which is 170 feeders. Ikeja here, where we are, is only 45 feeders. And when people are complaining, this thing affects the rich more than the poor. It is the affluent, the, the, the privileged people. The ladies, your view, they ladies, they are privileged people. Rich people. Wow. It is people like you that are affected by this change. Let me ask. Yeah. Yeah. No, the manufacturer no, association. Let me ask. Oh, manufacturer association of Nigeria. Uh, you see, okay, um, these are patochi Nigerians who, instead of engaging in round tripping, choose to manufacture mm. to engage that the, to ensure that the country grow. We have an industrial yeah. nation. Mm -hmm. But we have been having issues with them as far back as 2016 regarding tariff. The MITO 2, MITO 1, all those things. But we're nearing a, a resolution now. It is in our interest for our industrialists to get good service. The more service they take from us, the more money they pay. And they pay very well. So I assure you, we will continue to engage with them. Uh, man, Manufacturing Authority of Nigeria, we will ensure that they get the service that they require. Because when they get the service, they won't complain, they will pay. Yeah, if we pay. don't give them They're the service, they will complain. Right, I have a question so here for you to. From, from online. Somebody says, coming together to choose Bande is not as easy as he's saying. There are issues of feeders, transformers that must have, that must have the capability to carry the 20, 24 hours, like you're saying. Correct. So there's a process to getting people upgraded. It's not a plug and play. So now takes me to the question of what the minister said last week. It is your job as disco to provide transformers for us. Mm. But many people don't have transformers today. That's what is correct. delaying the Thank infrastructural you. development of Thank these? Thank you. And I'm sure, I hope the minister is watching. It is truly, it is our job mm. to provide transformers, cables, and all the right. When we were having a tariff structure, whereby we were asked to undersell the product, something, for instance, that should cost 112, we were asked to be selling it for 60 naira. There's no way we can provide this transformer for anybody. Because mm. already, as we are selling to you, we are losing. We are losing. And part of what we are selling, we could not recover our money, but people are stealing it anyway. Now, in the case of transformer, if your transformer is faulty anywhere in the country and you call us, I will tell you on national TV, the first thing we do, we go and check our computer. We check that transformer. If there are basic debts on that transformer, we ask you as a community to pay. Come and clear your debt. We shall repair your transformer. Because your disco only just gave a brand new transformer to a place in Ogba in the last three weeks that I was involved in. Once we see a paying community or street or area, we will do what we need to do. The reason why we failed, and I admit we have, the reason why we failed to serve you well in the past is liquidity crisis. Because I'm selling to you a product that I was not allowed to charge the normal price, and government that promised to pay subsidy will not pay. Mm. And I'm happy the minister confirmed that. When they say subsidy, subsidy, they don't pay, oh, they don't pay. So that's why okay. we have the okay, short Okay, so form. let me hold you on this. When you talk yes. about liquidity again, everybody's yes. talking about liquidity. So what has the discos, what have they done now? What process are they putting in place in terms of pulling investors, in terms of facilitate businesses now for money to actually come in? Mm -hmm. Are Thank we you. going to continue uh, uh, as, as a business as usual or what are they doing in terms of pulling in investors? Exactly. Okay, number one, the Electricity Act 2023 has amended. It's going to help the country a lot. Mm -hmm. It has created room for more competition. Mm -hmm. That's number <coughs> one. Number two, the country as a whole, the government is the one that you should be talking to. The government should provide the atmosphere. When people see that Nigeria is ready for business, and I believe we are ready now, investors will naturally come. If somebody knows that if I invest in Bande, I will recover fully, they will come. If somebody knows that if I go to Band E, when I invest there, I cannot recover. And when the, the, the software that they promise, they will not pay. They will be very scared to put their money there. So investment is all about the country as a whole, how we are, who we are, right from the airport, the ease of doing business. Visa on arrival, all those reforms that are going on will help the country. Remember, there are people who are willing to come into this country and invest. The power sector can be very profitable, but it can be very dangerous. And I remember uh, one of our, our regulators asked the question, ask somebody, if you have money, can you invest in the Nigerian power sector? If you have me ask this question today, I would rather take my money to a and be eating my yogi. Because, because, 
that sector is very, very, very volatile. Mm. But now we are moving there. <coughs> Band A is in now. Mm -hmm. We now need to begin to address what we can do to improve the service for Band B, C, D, and E. But I'm calling on Nigerians, please, as we improve your service, you should be paying for the service. Oh, I want to call on the government. Okay. Please, it's time to roll out meters. I know it's expensive. Yes, it's and I know they are working on it. Yeah. Without meter, people cannot measure their consumption. And those who don't have meter waste energy a lot. Yeah. And those who are on Bande, I'm going to use an example. They know how to manage energy. <laughs> open my windows, windows now. I have open no bank. Oh, so, 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 does not so even put on the light it, upstairs okay. anymore. Yeah. The I light is that. always off. So yeah. manage your energy. Once you manage it, you won't feel that 25 that we're all talking yeah. about. So you know you talked about energy about, management. You talked about uh, people who are stealing uh, oh, so electricity. Much. And I wanted to ask you who is responsible for catching them as a business uh, yeah. so that we, end, we don't end up putting everything on government. If you are a business, you're running a business and somebody's coming to Leave steal me, catch them. Your, exactly, your, your, your materials, mm -hmm. who is supposed to handle that and ensure yeah. it okay. doesn't happen? Primarily from the beginning, we're the one that is supposed to catch the thief. Mm -hmm. But catch we can them. catch the thief only if we get the proper intelligence from our customers who live around the thief. Okay. All of us on this table <laughs> live near thief. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Why? I can confirm that. As I can is. provide evidence. I can come back to you before the end of today <laughs> to show you, BC, that and where you live, around me. there are thieves on your street. Really? Wow. So you may not know Electricity. because you are not a thief. You can tell. No, you are not. You can tell from, from your meter. Because yeah. when we look at our feeder, the feeder supply electricity to various uh, transformers. Okay. That transformer, in most cases, are metered. Mm. Okay. So I know the energy received by the transformer, okay. which is pushed into the homes. Okay. When we do the calculation of payment at the end of the month, you see a lot of gap. Ah. That's how we know that from this transformer. Well, so go and catch them now. Oh. Arrest them now. You see, when we now catch them, as we have done many times in the past, mm. we do not have prosecution power. Hmm. We hand them over to oh, the, police the police and the civil defense. Oh. I'm not here to demand negotiate. And well, I know I can tell you for free. But can you name and shame them? Put them oh, on the papers. We do, we do that, yeah. and we we'll continue to do that. I think we need to do more of that. Yes. But the, 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 and my friends, I spoke with a high court judge yesterday who complained to me. If you are watching us, I've told you the next time they bring a case of energy theft to your court, send that guy to jail without an option of fine. Mm. If you do your own part, Mr. Judge, mm. Nigeria will be we a better stop. place. Mm. What we are doing in Nigeria is that we push, we pass the buck. Let everybody play their own part. Mr. Judiciary, mm. do your own. Mm. Mr. Police, do your own. Mr. Disco, do your own. If you're a Disco staff, if you see thieves among them, mm. don't just dismiss them as we do. Okay, because of dismiss time. and prosecute. Because of time, let me be sure that I've understood you've communicated something to me. Yes. So if I am living right now somewhere far in Ajangbaji, yes. and I'm on band C, yes. and I have only four hours or five hours of power, Yes. And I want to also have 20 hours of power. Yes. What I need to do is gather my community, either as an estate or the street. Yes. Oh, okay, all of us, we're under this transformer. Let yes. us come together and have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Let us see what can we do. Are we willing to pay and go to this band so we can get 20 Great. hours? Mm -hmm. Once we organize ourselves, we now come to you, this school. We have organized ourselves, so we are 20 of yes. us, so, and we want to do this. Can you put us on band A? Now, you do that for us. Now, when you say you are 20, can we put you on band A? Mm -hmm. It is not a subject of where exactly you are. Mm -hmm. The distance, mm -hmm. how to get that power to you, mm -hmm. is, is, is a factor. Okay. And it is easy to say we are ready. Readiness has to be practical. Mm -hmm. Then the issue of metered. us, everybody has to be metered. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody. the issue of us giving you band A, yes. it is in our interest for everybody in Nigeria to be on band A. Mm -hmm. But the infrastructure is very, very dilapidated. So it's not my fault. It's not of, it's not not my fault. So it's not my fault. Now, so we're I, getting, I want, now I get to the cocoa. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that, that mm. collectively, if, we are, if you are on band D mm. and your bill is 5,000, mm. yeah. stop paying 2,000. Mm. Pay the 5,000. Okay. Make sure you don't ask your electric, electrician to bypass to your bypass meter. Mm. Once you don't I, do I that, have a I have to run over. Go ahead, you'll be getting yeah. appropriate payment from your yeah, side. Because now, your we're talking about the same time. thing. Because someone said that they bought a 100 kVA transformer since 2020, mm. but they were connected to a feeder with low light. Now, to connect them on, like, Wallaria feeder, they're asking them to pay a bill of $22 million. That So is it that they pay for... So is, who has the... So is it this code now? Is it that responsible for, like, connecting someone to a low feeder if they've paid for a transformer? Or if they now want to move them to the right uh, uh, feeder, right. they're not telling them to pay $22 million. What do you have to say about like that? I don't know about anyone being asked to pay $22 million. Mm -hmm. We have to get the facts before we come to a conclusion. Okay. Is it $22 million for... 
certain infrastructure that is required mm. to be connected to that particular kind of line. For instance, mm. if there is a 33 kV line mm. somewhere mm. and you're on 11 kV, that transformer, whether you bought it for 12 million or 20 million, mm. cannot be used on 33 kV line. That means there's a need to change and mm. purchase some. That's not our own responsibility. But that's, that's, that's I'm not saying it's your responsibility. Yeah. But I would do it as a disco mm. if only that particular mm. community of Moriah is profitable. If they are not paying your community, well, I will not. I think that's so tough for our now. A, we have to I'm wrap up. I'm a bad man, no. So there's a, a, there's a, there's a thin line between that social service and business. and business. And we need to find pay, a, we need to have you get the service. Line. Pay, you get the service. We need to get our balance Don't between pay, that social you service. Where you are. Because it's a you social service. It's not a social service. It's not a social service. service. It's, a, it's, it's a product. No, it's a product. But it's Those also call it social service. The only way is a social service because without power, I cannot I cannot contribute my quota to the economy. And without paying for power, you cannot get power to yeah. contribute your quota to the economy. It's, it's, it's a, it's a that is what we can take, sir. <laughs> Thank you It was a pleasure much. having you. I think you covered quite a bit of base. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.